Okay, so this is this is the same collage that I showed you uh, in a previous video. <clears throat> I kind of deconstructed it and I'm remaking it. This almost seems like some sort of a phoenix type figure that's rising up out of this rubble. You know, so you can play around with it. There's a nice tension that happens in here. I'm looking at it upside down, but still, you know, feels like maybe it might want some more triangles, like shard type things. But I got circles. I got squares. This is a square that has the inside cut out. Uh, you know, just play with form. It'll take you to a place, and quite often you get some sort of pictorial thing, but try and resist that a little bit. Just see what you can come up with. Um, you know, if this spiral drops in on top of here, it gets more dense, but this stuff can get reviewed. So what you're trying to do is get visual pop to show white paper. So that what, that, what that really is, is called figure ground. And you want good figure ground action. And I'm going to show you a few painters. Uh, you're going to look at Matisse, but I'm also going to show you Richard Diebenkorn uh, 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 collage. that uh, He's a guy who followed Matisse closely 20 years later. But <clears throat> he really knows how to get this going in terms of black and white and visual pop. So that's about it. You can play around with this endlessly. Uh, when you finally get something that you like, or make two of them, uh, you might have to make more black paper. But, uh, you know, you can have two, and then you can show me both if you want to. So, that's good. I mean, I turn it sideways. If I go like this, or if I turn it upside down, that makes me go at this in a whole other way. So maybe I want to bring this up here. You know? I don't know. Switch it around. Play around with it. That keeps it abstract. Okay.